हेलो फ्रेंड्स प्लीज हिट द सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू गेट नोटिफाइड फॉर न्यू वीडियोस हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ वी कैन इंसर्ट लार्ज और बल्क डेटा इनटू डायनामो डीबी सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो दिस इज माय पाईचार्म एंड दिस इज माय प्रोजेक्ट सो आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ न्यू पाइथन फाइल एंड नेमिंग इट एज बैच सॉरी डायनामो uh -huh. Dynamo batch writer like this, and I have already imported the SDK for this. Uh, I can show you here like this. Boto three. Now I need to import the Boto three package. Now I am going to import Boto three to get access of the AWS packages. Now. To uh, access all the resources of the AWS, first we need to configure the AWS credential. So, if you already configured the credentials, so it's okay. If not, then watch my previous video. I have given the link in i button. So now, as I have imported Boto3, now I need the object of DynamoDB. So for that, I'm creating a variable by the name DynamoDB. And Boto3 dot we have the source, and I am naming the resource name as Dynamo DB. So we got the object of Dynamo. So now we got the object. Now I am going to create a function the uh, batch writer. Sorry, uh, yeah, like this. That's writer, and here I am passing two arguments. First is table name. Then we will have the items, or we can say rows, like this. Now we need to access the table of Dynamo, so I am creating a variable. And with the Dynamo object, we will have the table name. So for that, we have a method table equals to, and we will give the sorry a table then parenthesis bracket, and then we will have the table name like this. Now I need to open the batch writer. So with table dot batch writer we have the method and then i'm naming it, it as batch like this now i need to create a loop and i'm creating it as row in rows then it will add it to the batch and add and sorry uh, and put item we will use so and we have an argument item and then we will pass the row so like this and on every successful of row and every successful of batch we will return true so if we got no error then it will return true so t r u e true like this now I have a CSV file for this, so let me show you that. So here is the CSV file where we have registration ID and name. So we are going to insert these rows, and we have like 50. Yes, so we have 50 rows. So we are going to insert them. Now I am just going to copy the CSV file and pasting it in our project like uh, sorry this okay where it is nothing is happened so i'm going to copy again let's see and pasting it and yes it is asking yes so this is the csv file which you have pasted in our project and first column is registration id which will be our key and other one is name so let me just go to the browser here we are going to create a table 
so I'm naming it as batch data and the key name will be as same as we have here so I'm going to copy it registration closing this and now what is happening yeah here so I have pasted it and we have the data type of the key, string binary and number so we have as string so I'm taking it as string and now just click on create and it will just take few seconds to create it so it will be created so let's see uh, here I'm going to create a method again sorry uh, a function for uh, reading the CSV file and put all the items into list so here I'm again using f and read CSV like this and I am giving an argument which will be the CSV file like this so if we are using any CSV file operation so we need to import CSV also like this yes now we need to read the CSV file so for this I'm creating a variable row sorry rows it would be and then CSV dot we have a method which is dictionary reader what it does I'll tell you later so here we will open the CSV file so open and we will give the our file name so here the file name is book one dot CSV like this so it has the name dictionary reader so it will read all the CSV rows and return into dictionary object so we have all the rows now uh, we need to append all the rows into a list so I am giving another argument here by the name list so here we will have a loop for rows sorry for row in rows then it will add to the list dot append like this the all the dictionary like this now we will have the main so now here we need to create two variables one for table name so I'm giving the table name batch data and we need a list so I'm naming it as items equals to list now we need to first call the CSV reader so uh, sorry that name is CSV sorry a read CSV so now here we need to give the CSV file name so I'm going to create a, another variable CSV or we can say file name equals to book one dot csv so now i am giving file name file name then we will pass this items then we have all this csv what it does it will pass the file name which is book csv and we have given a list okay so here i have given the book name so uh, i need to replace it from csv file like this okay so it will open the csv file which is book one and then it will read all the rows in the dictionary and will append to the list now we need to call the batch writer batch write then we will give the table name and we will pass the list of items so like this now as this function returning boolean so we will save that and if that will return true then print the message data sorry data is saved like this and else 
we will have the message print error sorry i need to use string error in uh, error while inserting data like this okay so let's run this and let's see what is happening okay okay so we got the error and which is called resource not found so here okay i have not given the region name so it will be as us west 2 and now let's run this again let's see whether we will get error or not so we got the success message that data is saved so let's see in our table so we will go to items then yes we got all the rows which is 50 so like this we will have all the items in our dynamo table i hope you like this video if you want to ask anything please comment below and yes last but not the least please subscribe my channel and click the bell icon to get notified for every new video thank you for watching jai hind